G'day guys, I'm going to show you a rig that I use to catch the flathead. Now we all love our flathead, we love how they fight, how they taste and their abundance. But there is a few things to take into consideration, especially if you're live baiting for flathead, especially using live potty mullet. You guys have probably seen some of my recent videos catching a lot of flathead, a lot of potty mullet. It's my favourite part of fishing and it's my favourite type of fishing as well because bait is in such large abundance and so, same with the flathead as well. Um, the one thing that you do got to consider is buying these wide gap hooks. I've got a size 1. You can use a bit bigger but I find that these hooks are fantastic for live baiting. Um, they're thin, they're very strong and when the flathead smashes the bait um, it will not swallow the hook, it will get hooked on the side of the lip and um, and your catch rate is going to increase a lot. So generally what I do, it's just a simple rig, um, tie the hook. Now this line is only for demonstration purposes. I tend to use 12 pound fluorocarbon leader, that's the maximum I'll go, and 10 pound mainline mono. Um, I personally don't like fishing with braid, I just like mono. So I've got the hook there. All right, simple rig. And then I've got roughly around, let's just say, 45 centimetres of trace. I'll cut that off. Then I'll get my sinker. Um, sinker size um, depends where you're fishing. If it's very strong, you will up the size. If it's very calm, I'll use a sinker like this because you want the bait to be down in the bottom. Make sure that the sinker is free sliding through the main line you don't want it fixed and then we get a little red bead or little plastic tube thing that we can buy for whiting I slide that through so it's underneath the sinker and then I get me trace right. tie the main line to the swivel and then that little red bead, right, what we'll do, it will go down to the knot, as you can see, and it will protect the knot from the sinker, because every time the sinker slides up and down and hits the swivel, it will affect the knot. So that's just to protect the knot right there, see? And then we get our trace. And that is that. That's my rig for flathead. Nothing fancy. You don't need to measure things. Yeah, you can see it. That's it. Hook, sinker, plastic red bead, or it can be a green one, doesn't matter. And um, sinker, put your live bait through, cast it out, and hang on. If the flathead are there, they'll smash it. And um, yeah, it's been proven very well for me. So. Again, mainline 10 pound, fluorocarbon trace 12 pound, and a size 1 wide gap hook. And um, you're armed up and ready to go and catch some flathead. Now, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. More than happy to help. That's why I'm doing these videos. Until next time, stay safe out there and happy fishing.